the bicycle chassis it's from engineering principles of statics and deformables putting a force on steel aluminum and see how that property will change the elasticity of the metal how it will bend it can hold up to 1200 pounds which can be used in all areas such as emergency ambulances it can also be used to haul equipment such as trailers um, it is more of a chassis for other designs so epigenetics is kind of a, a study of how outside influences can alter the gene expression of your genome and also your children's genome if you're pregnant. So what I was kind of looking at in this study was um, specifically mothers who are obese and about to give birth to children. I looked at all the, the different research on that and I synthesized it together and I was able to find that it really does affect your DNA and affect your uh, their children for the future. It can set them up at a very uh, much increased risk for childhood obesity. We were trying to construct a mouse for patients that can't use anything below their neck. The gyroscope basically, it's mounted on the head and it senses the tilt of your head and from that tilt, it basically moves the mouse on the screen. If a patient can only move their head like a certain degree, like maybe two degrees to the left and right, we can adjust it so that it goes across the entire screen. You don't have to use any calibration other than um, how much they can move. Heteronormative is basically a cultural understanding of the norms or stereotypes that people fit into. Women are supposed to be passive, dancers of distress, and men are supposed to be stoic, monolithic, strong men. Adults with these ideas in their heads will actually transfer these stereotypes and preconceptions into their cartoons. More effort needs to be put into actually examining how children internalize these heterosexual dialogues and heteronormative stereotypes. Food Web Dynamics is studying how energy moves up the food chain. So this project looked at a cyanotoxin present in the river. As this toxin increases in the river, it causes the clams to stop feeding. The clams filter the river, they clean the river, and if you're causing these clams to stop filtering, you're gonna have a more toxic, more dirty river. So with Food Web Dynamics, if people are eating out of the river, if they're eating any fish that have this in the river, then they're gonna ingest this toxin as well. We wanted to kind of remove human workers from a dangerous environment. We use the wireless, so uh, the way the Bluetooth operates is over radio waves, where it sends all the signals to the other Bluetooth. That way you can be a safe distance away from any dangerous environment. A lot of the practical applications of this, one of them is for chemical glove boxes, where you normally have someone put their hands in rubber gloves and work with dangerous chemicals. Um, so instead of that, you can have this robotic arm inside of uh, an enclosure, and it can be completely sealed off from 